Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you all today? Um, I'm just waiting for this one over here to kick in. Here we go. Yes, we are live now. So welcome, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me on my weekly Friday webinar for a better term of the word, a better, um, what I'm trying to say, a better term I could use. Um, I'm calling them webinars, but uh, basically what it, what it is every Friday is a little general discussion with you guys about all the things that I've been learning during the week and that I'd like to share with you my things that I've learned, the knowledge that I've come across, um, things that I'm researching and delving into a bit deeper. Um, and I like to share that with all my followers. So um, no expert in any field, don't claim to be, do not take what I say as gospel. It's just my um, thoughts and feelings on different topics. So today is a really good one. Today I would like to talk to you guys about Ascended Masters, um, which is a really interesting topic. So if you're looking here right in front of me, you're on my personal page, Michelle Ann Saunderson, and if you're over here, you'll be on my business, Michelle Ann and Paul Healer. And this is also going to be shared across to a couple of groups that I run. Um, my main group that I run, um, if you're not on it, make sure you jump on it, is Soul Junkies Connect, J-U-N-K-I-E-S, Soul Junkies Connect. It's my Facebook group. Um, that's all things spiritual, um, anything a little bit woo woo I like to post on that page. And the other page I assist in the running or the admin of is um, the page called Conscious Minds. So you might be getting this shared on you on you guys as well. Just a note, if you're watching this being shared from those groups, I won't be able to see your comments. So you might like to pop across over to my personal page here or my business page, Michelle Ann Soul Healer, if you want to be interactive and want to comment on my um, on my, um, what I'm saying, Amanda Hodges likes my video. Hello, Amanda. Uh, I, and I've got a few things up on the go at once, so I can't um, see. Jodie's on watching over this one. So, yeah, if you've got any comments, I love interaction, please um, make it interactive. It's much more fun and a lot easier for me if I have someone to talk to instead of talking to a screen. So, love interaction, love, love hearts or anything you'd like to ask questions, I don't know if I'll always be able to answer them. So today's topic's pretty deep uh, and I wasn't quite sure how to go about trying to explain this because it's I struggled to understand it myself uh, and the reason, and the more research I do, the reason I un don't understand it myself is because I'm living in a 3D, uh, three-dimensional reality. Um, now that may not make sense to you if you're new to all this type of uh, talk, so what I decided to do um, is I will explain what Ascended Masters are. But to explain that in a uh, understandable way, I realised you sort of need to understand levels of consciousness and um, dimensions. Because if you don't understand that, then you probably won't understand what an ascended master is. Now, this is very complicated stuff. Um, and as, as I always say, it's difficult for me to explain, but I'll do my best. If you're a guru at this, you'll probably do a better job than me, but that's okay. I'm just doing it the uh, Michelle Ann way. So if it's not exactly how you learnt it or you know it, then just know that we're all slightly different and that there's lots of different information out on these topics that you can get and you've just got to go with your gut and what you know or what you believe in is true. So dimensions. So when I first, um, I had an idea about what an Ascended Master was, but when I first started looking into it, um, they're basically saying an Ascended Master, and I wrote this down so I didn't forget it, um, were human beings. They used to be human. Um who once walked the earth and they have paid off their karmic debt and are now master of ascension. So my first question there, I suppose, for you guys that are new to all this is what is ascension? What does that word even mean? And it's really interesting. You start delving and you can't stop. I could be here all afternoon uh, delving into the levels of consciousness, and dimension. So basically, if you read around, um, the general consensus is, and this does vary, that there are, eight, there are 12 levels of consciousness or dimensions of, of consciousness um, and dimensions being, now I'll just write this down, I've got notes everywhere because it's quite complicated, um, dimension is like a, a, a plane of consciousness so basically, where did I write that, I wrote that somewhere really so I wouldn't forget it, that is hilarious, oh over here, here we go, um, so a dimension is a state of consciousness uh, or a plane of existence, so it's a level of consciousness, that's the best way to describe it. Because, and when I go through to explain the levels of consciousness, you will have, you'll be like, oh, that makes more sense. So in our human existence, 
we are living in a very much a structured world where um, linear time, we live in linear time and space, so it can touch things, it can feel things. But when you start ascending through the levels of consciousness, this disappears, so time and space becomes no longer. And that's why you can do things like distant, distant and remote healing because basically there is no such thing as time and space, only in where we are dwelling in our level of consciousness there is. But in the, the whole scheme of things, there is actually no such thing as time and space. So we can work through um, around time and space. So I had a healing last night uh, and it was a pre-recorded um, remote healing, um, a Reiki healing. And basically it works because when the person does the recording, it doesn't matter about time, it doesn't matter about um, space. So basically you are receiving the healing, whether it was recorded a year ago or uh, yesterday, the intention for the healing was there and I pick up the intention when I go and lie down and get that healing. And it, it really works. I, I, I did it yesterday. It was amazing. So dimensions of consciousness. consciousness. So I talked about 12 dimensions of consciousness. Um, so when we're talking about being ascended or evolved, what people are talking about is, is like it's like a, a ladder of evolution, I suppose, spiritual evolution, if you could call it that. So it's like each time you grow spiritually and you become more and more aware and more and more conscious of, of the other things that are out there, you've evolved. So you're stepping up like a spiritual ladder. There's actual names for this ladder, so you call it. And they're the levels of consciousness. And I've, I found a really good table on the net about the different levels and what each one means. And I thought that probably the easiest thing that I can do is, is sort of summarise that so you can get a gist of it. And the reason I'm talking about levels of consciousness is because when um, an ascended master, so the ascended master is the one that's walked the earth and has evolved. So they've ascended, meaning the, the term ascended. They have evolved or ascended up through the level of consciousness to their know. So they were human, they passed on, and their soul did not come back. Because what happens is our soul reincarnates to learn the karmic lessons that we have. So our soul has these particular lessons. We've all heard of karma, what goes around comes around. It's not exactly that simple. Basically, we all come into this our soul comes into this body with lessons or karma that we need to, to learn before we can evolve to the next level. And what's happening with a lot of us poor little human beings is that we're coming around and around and around and around again and we're not learning our karmic lessons. We're making the same mistakes, we're doing the same thing. So if you find yourself feeling like you're stuck in a rut and you're going nowhere and you're not evolved, it's because your soul has been around and around and you'll find a lot of things. And I did a thing on past lives Roxy, definitely. You are not coming back, Roxy. You've evolved. Um, what I did a webinar on past lives last week, which will um, it links quite nicely into this, because past lives meaning we're coming around and around and around. And you might have things going on in your life right now that you can't work out why you feel that particular way, or why you feel a particular way about a person, or why something really frustrates you. It's because it's a karmic lesson from a past life. And until you actually, it's like you need to be shaken. Just get it. It might be about self-love. It might be about connection. It might be about um, some sort of relationship with someone that you never actually finish the karmic, um, the karmic contract. That you basically come in with the contract. So we go around and around and around again. So an ascended master is someone that has got it finally, shaken around enough to realise they now understand um, and have gotten through their karmic lessons. And they've now evolved and ascended into what they would call the sixth dimensional state. So this is where I want to talk about the different dimensions because you'll understand what sixth dimension means. So um, so I wrote down here, yep, ascended masters, once human, paid off karmic debt and mastered ascension. And the word ascension is a complete liberation from the rounds of karma and rebirth. So that's pretty much what I said. It's just said in a really nice way. Um, and human, a human who has taken the sixth initiation or ascension can dwell on the sixth dimension, which is what our ascended masters where they're living. So I'm going to go through the ascent, um, through the, um, the different levels of consciousness now, so you can have an idea about what I'm going on about. Ali says mine was with the person who I didn't finish the karmic contract. That's what often happens. You'll you'll come in with a contract with the person and you don't actually finish it. Um, and but when you do, then you can start afresh. So um, often if you're having a really tough life, I've often said, Jesus, how many, bloody, how many people did you kill last life? What's going on for you? If you're having a really easy life, you probably find that you are, you are spiritually, and this is not pe people being good or bad. You know the type of person I'm talking about. If you're watching this, you're not one of these people because you wouldn't be watching my stuff. 
but you know the type of people I'm talking about that you would just think, are they apes? Do they get anything? The people that, um, and I'm, I'm trying not to be judgy because you shouldn't, it's just, spiritual consciousness is not about judging, but it's, we are human, so I'm trying to explain this in a human way. But when you have a person who has no idea, they just see what's in front of them. They see the black, they see what they can touch. They can see the TV in front of them. They're watching their mind numbing, boring bloody television every day. They have no uh, want to learn more. They don't want to evolve spiritually. They're just like really heavy. And their energy is usually heavy. They're like, ugh. They're living in their physical body and they're happy. Oh, I don't think they're happy. They might tell you they're happy. But they're just like a big book. And they, they've got no idea when it comes to um, spirituality and human nature. But as you come through, you learn your lesson and you evolve up. And, um, yeah. So back to my little table because I'm very excited about the table because I explained it so well for my little human brain and I wanted to share that with you. Um, and, yes, so the first dimension. So the first dimension of space. Is and it goes through each type. So the first dimension of space is an awareness as a point. So it's very simple. You can see the different as you evolve, it gets more and more complex. So the awareness of a point, the mineral kind kingdom resonates at this level of consciousness. So the minerals, water, and genetic code in human bodies are resonating. Now the beauty with this, we're not always talking on about by um your vibe, your vibration. When I keep saying <laughs> the whole point of what we're trying to do here, and this is part of my um my mission or my karmic contract, I suppose I feel, my purpose, my sole goal is to increase the vibration of the planet one by one by increasing um, single people's vibration who go out and do their thing and then they increase more. And the reason we're trying to increase the vibration of the planet because these levels of dimension, they go up in vibration. So as you go higher and higher and higher up into the ladder, the spiritual ladder, you vibrate and vibrate at a higher level to the point where then you're vibrating at such a high level you're not physically human anymore. You become the energetic realm so that's the first dimension the second dimension of is um, an awareness of point and line and the plant kingdom as in this dimension as well as the lower animal kingdom so they resonate at this level these beings are only conscious of their species identity and their need for feeling a uh, feeding sorry the need for feeding fighting and procreation so real basic survival sort of things um, and they live solely within the awareness of the moment at the moment now, part of our human brain lives in this level of consciousness. So the human second dimensional consciousness, and we probably, if you have any idea about science or you've done any study around consciousness of the brain, the the uh, lower brain, that monkey brain, that lizard brain, whatever you want to call it, that directs <coughs> our automatic nervous system <coughs> to regulate and basically maintain life support, that's living in that second dimension. <coughs> so it's really basic survival. The part of our brain that's in charge of basic survival. Ali, oh, oh, Ali and, and Roxy are having a cool conversation with each other. That's hilarious. I'll read that later. Um, I love it. And um, the next one, the third dimension. Now, this is what you should all know because this is what we're all sitting in right at this second. We are all in 3D. Quite often I'll say um, when I talk about, well, what do you do? I say, oh, I teach people that there's more than a 3D life. And they look at me like, what? What does that even mean? I'm like, oh, yeah, not everybody even knows what, what, what that means. So the third dimension, so we've been through the first. The third dimension is the awareness of point, line, width, and breadth, height, and volume. So this is the space we're in at the moment. This is the level of consciousness we are physically sitting in here right now. Um, the the um, human beings, that's us, and the higher animal king, kingdom resonate at this level. And awareness of oneself as a separate and unique individual. So we can feel a little bit of disconnection now. We have, before that, we had no no idea. Now we are like, oh, hang on, there's something here. And that's why a lot of us are feeling disconnected because we're at that level of consciousness where we can feel our soul, but we also know there's something more out there. We're not quite connected. So we've got that sort of feeling of being a little bit disconnected. Um, it's locked in time and space and has a cause-effect paradigm, which is why... why we are very much just about time. We're all about time and physical. We're physical, time and space. And we're locked in that. We don't understand that there's another realm out there that doesn't actually involve time and space. So as humans, we have the ability to remember the past and the ability to maybe know that there's a future and, but, and be aware of the present. But basically our unconscious mind has forgotten the past 
and we have that separation, that feeling, like I said before, disconnection or separation as a whole because we're just starting, we're like little babies. We're just starting to get an awareness of the universe. And hang on, I get this. I'm feeling like I'm quite evolved, but there's something that's not quite right. So now the best bit, this is my favorite dimension because I go there quite regularly, is the fourth dimension. Awareness, a point line with breadth, height, volume, and time. So the fourth dimension is also known as the astral plane. I go there all the time. I know it. It's particularly when you are in it's some. It's a dimension you can actually access when you're still in your physical body. It's that trance-like state that when you're falling asleep or when you've had a really, really significant dream or you're not, you know, you're not in your body. Like where the freaking hell are you? If you're not in your body, some people get like paralysis in their sleep because they've actually soul has left their physical body in there in that that realm of consciousness between 3D and 4D. Uh, it's an amazing place to be when you know what's going on and you're aware of it. It's a pretty cool place. Um, we'll pick up the wind. Uh, and it's it's our higher self, like our higher being. The astral body is of a higher vibration than the physical body, which hence why I keep banging on about increasing your vibration. Because if you want to do any sort of spiritual work or you want to evolve yourself, even if you're not doing spiritual work, but you want to actually evolve or spiritually ascend and get a, become a better person, you need to look at increasing your vibration otherwise you're going to remain in the 3d realm of where we are now and which is nice it's nice to be comfortable to be in a human 3d body but it's way more fun when you can dabble in that other stuff out there which is the 4d um the etheric realm which is what i always talk about in these webinars about our energy field about our etheric about the akashic records about that thing you just can't touch it's amazing stuff um, it's the realm of our unconscious mind so when we fall asleep our unconscious or subconscious takes over. Um, it's when we are dreaming, imagination, psychic. This is where our psychic ability comes from. Intuition. When that gut feeling, it's intuition. It's like magic. That is what we call the 4D realm. Um, and as we expand our mind um, to be conscious of our, of our unconscious mind, we experience more of these qualities in our physical form. So as you become more and more evolved, you start to have all these what I call woo-woo things happen where you're becoming more aware of it because you you are more often in a 4D state um, compared to where you may, may have been a couple of years ago. Like five years ago, I was in complete 3D. I was on Groundhog Day just doing the same shit every day, happy enough. But I have now evolved because I've started to um, to learn and, and reach out for greater things. Content, not for me. Five high so we can ascend, grow and evolve to be our true selves. Exactly, Roxy. Exactly, Roxy. So at this level, there's the beginning awareness of the universal law of one or unity consciousness. So if you've heard that term, unity consciousness, hello, Sheree, it's that feeling that actually we're not separate, we're actually one. And there's a term called unity consciousness. And that's what uh, light workers, again, for better use of the term light workers, I don't really like it because it's sort of hierarchical, but light workers, um, healers, um, people, psychics, those sort of people that are helping humanity. Um, are all trying to obtain a level of unity consciousness that we're bringing all of us as a planet together. Um, and there's a lot of, um, I won't go into that one, it's a bit complicated. Um, so they, you come through, people come through their worries for the causes that heal the earth. Um, Realisation and practice that no one is greater than the other. That's why I don't like using actual terms because, yeah, we're not better or worse. We are just one. We just, it just is. And that we must all cooperate for the good of all to create a better earth. So I feel that's where I am in a lot and I feel anyone that's maybe a healer or feels they have some sort of healing ability is that they're probably in the astral or the etheric realm or the fourth 4D realm more than the average person. That's a pretty cool place to be. Um, and this is where the elementals also reside. So those mythological creatures that maybe you do or don't believe in, but those things that are in dreams, like your imagination, like your fairies and your mermaids and your, your mythological creatures, they're in that sort of realm where mm, we're humans, we don't believe it, but are they there? Because you can't believe everything. You, you can't, just because you can't see it doesn't mean you shouldn't believe it. And children are so open to this stuff. And this is why children see fairies. because And, and their little spirit friends and their little, little friends because they're actually so, their soul is so new into their body. I've got goosebumps. But their soul is so new into their body that they haven't been judged and criticised for seeing these things. So they see. They see stuff. They do because they're open and they're not they're not burnt like us little adults are. Let's see if anyone's over here. Okay. Yep. We're all good. Just want to see the questions. 
Yeah, all good. So Ali and Roxy having a good old conversation. Um, the next one up is a 5D. Now, I don't know if you're into this type of stuff. You may have heard that we as Earth are coming to a little bit of a crux, as you probably can feel it, with the coronavirus, with the fires, the earthquakes, something's going on. And what a lot of philosophers, is that the word, have, have said that we are all starting to, the Earth is ascending into the fifth dimension. And if you're not there, you get left behind. <laughs> Doomsday, mate. No. Not, I don't know. I don't really understand it, but I do. I, I can feel it. I know what something's going on. Something's going on in the cosmos. There's something, something happening on this earth. That's it's something's are changing, and I feel what's happening is we are moving from humans and from moving from 3D into what they call 5D, not 5G or whatever the internet is. The five. This is fifth dimension. Awareness, a point line with breath, height, volume, time, and spirit. So we're changing our consciousness. Linear time and space do not find consciousness here, which is what I've talked about before. There is no illusion or separation or limitation. Instead, there's a constant experience of a oneness of God, Goddess, and all that is. On the fifth dimension, and this is what I love, that we live in unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, and unconditional acceptance. How good does that feel? Um, where do we get to? There's no uh, portions or aspects of ourselves that are try striving to remember our higher selves. At this level, we're free to create a new way of thinking, being, doing through the seeds of unity consciousness. And that's what a lot of the light workers out there are trying to achieve is unity consciousness. It's trying to get the masses and uh, that's what I'm trying to do, get the masses and just teach them, teach them what's going on here and that there's another way of being that you don't have to remain in this, this low-level consciousness. You can raise your consciousness and evolve people Stop coming around. Um, now, the, fifth, the five Ds often where you hear angels and archangels start coming in. Never knew the difference between angels and archangels. I'm going to be completely honest uh, till today because <laughs> I had to. That's why I love doing these webinars. I like to learn and tell you. So archangels and angels. So archangels are messages from pretty much source or God, whatever you want to call it, and they're up the top levels of consciousness and then below that is the angels. So there's different levels. That's the difference. Archangel is the big big kahuna and the angels are the little ones underneath pretty cool and they start coming into these realms fifth sixth and seventh dimensions that's where you have your angels and your archangels daniel i oh, sorry cheryl does that make kids more destructive and fight with each other <laughs> very possible they might be seeing too much they might be getting a bit scared uh they're still learning our little souls of children we struggle i know struggle on school holidays believe you me oh, i've been struggling too Roxy, yes, 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 let's rise up. Hence the word rise up. That's another term you'll hear all the time. My sister's our page is called Rise Up. Her book is called Rise Up, The Soulful Guide to Success because we are trying to rise up. We're rising up through the ladder of consciousness. Uh, now, this is where it gets a bit hairy and I don't really understand it. And I read before you don't understand it because the realms above the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension are actually not designed to be understood by people in the third dimension. I always had the biggest aha moment. I was like, oh. Of course, that's why I can't explain this shit. Excuse my language. I can't explain it because I'm in 3D and I can't understand it because they're in five. I'm trying to talk about a different dimension and I'm in the third dimension trying to explain what's going on in the 12th dimension. It's not going to make sense because we're in a different plane of existence and consciousness. So it makes sense that we don't understand it. But I'll do my best and I'll just briefly run over these because they are they get a bit hairy. They get a little bit too woo-woo from, even for me. I'm like, oh, what? So the sixth dimension, which is where our ascended masters um, often reside, the Christed child or the magical child, it's called crystal consciousness. Um, life is seen as magical and blessed. All life is directed and advanced with the work of the spirit. The person in the, I wouldn't even call a person, just call a being in the sixth dimension surrenders to the flow of spirit's evolution. This is why I'm reading this because it's not making too much sense to me. It might make sense to you while exercising the right to be creator on an individual level. So it's, let's just say it's a level above We'll go with that. Um, and that's where our ascended masters are. The seventh um, is when we become Christ as adults, ready to take on a planetary mission. What I do get out of this is the different levels have, um, you'll, you'll notice as we've gone up the levels, we started at the base number one dimension. We've gone from individual consciousness to group consciousness to community, which is where we're sitting at now. Community rising up to like a national level consciousness a collective, which is when I talked about the unity consciousness. Then we're looking at planetary evolution, so planetary consciousness, and then out to galactic, which is whoop, 
out out in the different planet galaxies, and then obviously by is Christ consciousness or the, the God, the source, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the eighth and the ninth are put together. So they're archetypal levels of consciousness and full cosmic consciousness. The stewards, the the beings on this level of dimension have full responsibility for the stewardship of the planet and number 10 has the responsibilities at the solar level so we can see how we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger we've started off as like little minerals or little crystals basically trace elements of the earth and we've got up and up with humans and we're bigger and then we're getting bigger we're getting bigger now we're up to the um stewardship of the planet then the solar then the, the galactic level of consciousness and last of all and there's probably more than this people say there are Number 12 is the gold ray of universal consciousness. So being a full universal being and universal level of consciousness is achieved. You've returned to source and you're in unity consciousness with the physical form of life. It's very full on. So you, you made it. You made it to the top. You've ascended. You've, you're back to source. No more coming around being human beings. So I hope that's making some sense. I'm not going to try to pretend I know what those top levels of consciousness are. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that have studied this for years that will be able to tell tell you a bit more about it but it gives you an idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about ascended masters um, now I was a bit concerned I wouldn't have much to talk about today I was like I don't know if I can talk about 30 minutes on ascended masters but we're on 26 minutes and I wanted to um, why does this happen every time I do a webinar I wanted to tell you about my my experience as a with an ascended master so if I sort of make sure I covered everything I wanted to talk about yes 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 Ascensions, yes. Oh, the yeah, ascended masters. So basically, ascended masters. There's only, and again, different different opinions on this, but I think there's technically or only proven to be thirty ascended masters, and these are people or names that you've probably heard of. Some you may not have heard of, but uh, people like uh, Jesus, Ganesh, Isis, um, Mary Magdalene. There's a few that you're Buddha. A few that you probably have, I would imagine, have heard of. So these are all people that, as I said at the start of the call, and if you come in late, you'll understand, is that they walk the earth and they have ascended. So they've been humans. They understand about karma and they understand how us humans work. And they've ascended through that dimension that I talked about. And they're now sitting around the sixth or seventh dimension and they're coming back in a uh, another dimension, but they're coming back to assist us humans in our journeys. Does that make sense? They're like our teachers. They're masters. They're our teachers. So um, I never knew really what that meant, but my quick experience, if you don't mind me going over, oh, we're still on 26. I like to be on time, even though there's no such thing as time. Like that. Um, a really quick explanation of my experience with my Ascended Master and how that happened, because it will make sense to you now that you know what an Ascended Master is. So my first experience was a healing, and I'm sure plenty of you heard this story a million times over, so apologies. But there'll be new people on here that haven't heard this. My first ever healing uh, I had was out of this world and it was a real awakening for me. And during that healing, uh, I had physical body movement. So I was shaking around a bit. And at one stage, I had my hands moving all by themselves. And at one stage, my hands went out into a cross. Now, I don't talk about this much because I'm not actually religious. I don't go to a church. I don't um, practice religion. And I said to my healer, like, it was my legs got pulled straight out like that and my hands got pulled straight, like, up, like really getting pulled out of my shoulder blade, like across. And I came, when I came back into my three-dimensional consciousness, I said to my healer, what was that about? That was a cross. There's some link. Do I have to look like, I must look like crazy because I look at these big eyes and I'm like, do I have some link to Jesus that I don't know about? Like in a past life, that was all I thought. I thought, shit, I've got some... I might have walked the earth back when Jesus was around or something with Jesus was like, Wah! and um, I felt like a, a bit of an idiot because I said, I'm not, I'm not religious. I, I, yeah, I went to Sunday school as a little kid, as you do, um, but I, as an adult, I'm not religious at all. And she said, no, Michelle, it's, Jesus is just an ascended master. He's just an, a human that walked the earth that had was completely evolved. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and then I went and did a, um, sorry about the noise. I had the keys. No, they're out there. I put the door there. Uh, I had a, 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 a what did I have? A healing, a, a meditation uh, by Emily Shine. It took us to meet our, and at this stage, I didn't know Jesus was my, I just knew there was some link to this Jesus thing. And then I went to get my meditation with Emily, who took us through meeting your spirit guides. 
and Jesus appeared in my third eye. I was like, what? How? how that, that can't be right. Just like, again, no, it's quite common. The ascended master's actually here to help us. He's probably a spirit guide. He's a human that walked earth. I was like, okay. I still was very iffy about it. Uh, and then several months later, I went off to one of those big expos and um, I've seen the lady drawing the spirit guides before at those things and I always think, oh, my God, that's ripping people off, mate. Seriously, you really believe in that shit? And I thought, and by, by this stage, I'm more evolved. I'd, I'd evolved people. I was like, hmm, I'm going to get my spirit guide drawer and see what this woman comes up with. I should have got it down and been a bit more organised, but I'm going to bring it down and I'll show you and you'll see now what I mean. So after the healing rails pulled into a cross, after, um, after seeing this in the meditation, oh, go away, truck. You're ruining my ambience. This, and I'll do it to this camera first. This is what that lady drew. Uh, she did not know me from a bar of soap. The infinity symbol had been a huge thing for me. This is back to front. And she did two infinity symbols on the bottom. And I was like, started crying as soon as it started to come out. Sorry, you guys over here. As soon as it started to come out, I was crying and she didn't know me and she looked at me and she said, your spirit guide is Jesus Christ. And I was like, <gasps> she goes, it's Jesus, Jesus Christ. Uh, actually, it's his higher self and his name is Sandana or something like that. I was like gobsmacked. I couldn't believe it. And, yeah, she did not know me and there you go. So amazing. Her name is Francie Griffin if you ever want to get your spirit guide drawn. There you go. So that's my Ascended Master story very quickly because I know a lot of you have heard it. Um, it's, I, I, can't, I never get tired of it. It's just an amazing, cool thing to have happened to someone who I just thought I was a boring old... I thought I was a boring old 3 d -er. I don't think I had anything special. But, yeah, now I can go into 4D quite easily, into trance. I've done a whole webinar on that. And I'm. if you want to come along, I'm up for let's start to get involved in this fifth dimension and see what's out there. Who's up for that? Give me a thumbs up or a love heart. All right, so we're going to head off now. Uh, no comments on this one. Roxy getting massive goosebumps, so awesome. Michelle, what do I Google to bring up a visual? Is this, sorry. Oh, she's a kinesthetic, okay. Ali's a kinesthetic and visual learner. Yeah, and that's why when I found this table, I was like, oh, wow. It's just just Google if you're wanting to see something. Um, multi. Um, 12 dimensions or the different states of consciousness. There's lots of stuff on the internet, heaps. And it, there's pretty cool pictures and it links in with fire and chakras and energy centers and it's all very much a bit overwhelming when you first look at it. But if you are if you are that type and you really need to see it, to understand it, yeah, Google it. Google fixes everything. Okay, I am going to go and finish my day. Oh. I was thinking I was going to tell you something exciting I was about to do with my day, but then I remembered I just have to do my book work. <laughs> Got to do my account keep uh, my accounting. Uh, no, you don't do that in your 4D, do you? You do that in your 3D, that's for sure. Counting and book work probably takes me back to two dimension. <laughs> I'll crack myself up. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you follow me on Soul Junkies Connect and my business page, Michelle Ann, Soul Healer Ann with an E. And... Just for those who don't know, I have a soul school upcoming. I run an online program. It goes for a month. We, uh, daily content, you'll, you'll receive healings, you online yoga, and it's basically teaching you how to reconnect back in with yourself. So it's, so it's called Soul School. My next one is on the 18th of May. And um, if you're interested or you want more questions, please just message me and I'll explain it all to you. But I am doing a massive discount if you're watching this and it's still coronavirus time. Anyone on the front line? who's out there on the coalface, essential worker out there dealing with this stuff, I'd like to offer a discount of $150. So we talk about um, a bit of this woo-woo stuff mixed in with um, uh, spiritual self-connection and all sorts of stuff. It's amazing. A lot of the girls on here are doing soul school and loving it, changing people's lives, so I'm feeling blessed. So please contact me if you're interested in soul school and um, that's what I'm going for at the moment while we, we're still all online. Um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one healings, but that's a bit difficult with what's going on. So. All right, love you guys. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next Friday for our free weekly live webinars. See you guys. Bye.